Can we simulate physics to create a digital hourglass? In this week's project, we'll take a look at building an LED hourglass with CircuitPython. Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building an LED matrix hourglass. You can create this little physics toy using some 3D printed parts and electronics from Adafruit. This uses an accelerometer to simulate an hourglass with interactive grains of sand. The two LED matrices simulate sand particles by having them bounce off of each other. This looks and feels like it's actually being affected by gravity. The electronics are housed inside the base and it has an open USB port for programming and recharging the battery. The Adafruit FeatherSense features the Cortex-M4 processor with the NRF52840 Bluetooth module. It's packed with all sorts of onboard sensors, making it our favorite new board for making projects in CircuitPython. We think it's awesome for projects that need to pack lots of features in a fairly small package. The code for this project was written in CircuitPython by Carter Nielsen. For these small 8x8 displays, the physics were simplified to optimize CPU cycles. The coordinates are set up to be adjustable, so it's easy to change the code to match the orientation of the accelerometer. Carter has a nice write-up in his learn guide with more detail on how the physics model is working. The code is available on GitHub and the project is open source. There's lots of support for CircuitPython and you can browse the list by heading over to circuitpython.org. Select your board and download the latest version by clicking on the link to the UF2. Connect the board over USB and double press the reset button to get it into the bootloader mode. Then just drag and drop the file onto the USB drive to automatically flash the new firmware. You can get the CircuitPython library bundle and download it as a zip file. You'll need to grab the required libraries and drop them in the lib folder on the CircuitPy drive. The code is embedded in the learn guide and can be easily downloaded using the links. CircuitPython is designed for beginners and we think it's great for folks who are just getting started with electronics. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The 3D printed parts are designed to snap fit together and as usual, they don't require any support material. The CAD assembly is easy to put together and features 3D models of Adafruit boards and components. You can get the 3D models of the parts from our GitHub repo. LED backpacks from Adafruit come in different colors and sizes, so you have a few options to choose from. The polarity needs to match the breakout board, so be sure to install the LEDs correctly before soldering. You can follow along with the build photo, so if you need help, the learn guide has you covered. The jumpers on the back need to be soldered in order to set the I2C address. The 3D printed cover can be used as a jig for wiring up the two matrices together. A cable with a Stemma QT connector is used to make the assembly much easier. The circuit is wired up and powered by a small 400 milliamp battery. The electronics snap fit onto the bottom cover with tabs and built-in standoffs. The spindles are secured to the cover using M3 screws. A screw tap can be used to create proper threading for screwing into. The two matrices are housed in a peanut-shaped enclosure that also snap fits. The ends are press fitted with the wiring fitted through the opening in the center of the cover. The covers are secured with the spindles acting as support holding everything together. Stemma QT connectors make it easy to attach the matrices to the feather. The bottom base snap fits onto the cover so it's easy to take it apart and put it back together. Be sure to check out the full step-by-step -step tutorial on the Adafruit learning system. I hope this inspires you to check out the Feather Sense and start thinking about using CircuitPython in your next project. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.